We are back with more Snake Draft Phase 1 and we are Psychic Mewtwo vs Tama Home. Um, so we see Stall and Dactrio is still allowed this round. It's gonna be, st even now it's still allowed because of the round went up before Dactrio, uh, before, before Arena Trap got banned. So I think you can use it the entire round. So we see that Manaphy might be able to put in some work this game. But if the Duggy is groundsy, he, um, he only needs some chip damage on the Manaphy and then he can revenge it. And other than that, um, Trick Lari could put in some work and crippling him on, but uh, it's looking kind of bleak for Psychic Mewtwo, unless he has some set that can put in work with a stall. Because uh, Lopani should get walled. Lopani should get walled by a Quagsire, even if it's power up punch, because Quagsire is unaware, so it doesn't give a fuck about that. Um, let's see if he has some hidden tech that can put in some work. Otherwise, this game is just gonna be boring and Storm might just come through. So he lets us Lopani get Wisp. So the only reason why he will let you Lopani get Wisp is if you have Frisade, so amazing. Um, so he has a Lopani set that I did not expect and he just blows that Sableye away to turn 1. Bob. Um, so he had to stay regular form because of how the um, game mechanics changed in Zen Gen 7. Uh, in Gen 6 he would have been able to stay regular form and still have priority Wisp the first turn uh, Sableye Megas. Uh, the, the, the first turn Sableye Megas and Auras, it's fucking broken. It has uh, Prankster and Magic Bounce at the same turn, but now you can only... You have to decide if you want to Mega and you lose your Prankster or if you want to stay regular and keep it that turn. So that's really nice um, in that sense for... For Psychic Mewtwo here, because in regular form, that's a, uh, in Mega form, that's how I might have lived. And then it could have gone for Protect, and he could have gone some more chip on this Lopani. <laughs> Shout out to Zomok aka Meme King. Yeah, this, I, don't, I don't know, like to be honest, I like this set a lot. I've been, um, I've considered using this set. Um, because Mew always burns you and Toxapex tries to burn you with Skull, so why not use this set? <laughs> so you use like Power Punch and then Toxapex burns you with Skull, I think Facade is gonna blow that shit away because they run Spadex, Spadef most of the time at the moment. So he goes into Majorna, um, so this mobile can, can put in some work, um, and might be able to 2-hit KO the Quag. Uh, probably not from full, he probably needs some chip on that. But yeah, he's obviously not staying in since this um, Lob can still put in some work, it outspeeds um, the entire opposing team, unless it's Scarf Duggy. So we see there's a Solvest, uh, Changros, I assume we're just gonna see a knockoff come out here. Since he already lost his Mega Sable, a knockoff is pretty free and you just get rid of an item. And they go to the left, he's on a zap dose. Um, it's it's pretty cool to see a side like that put in work, not gonna lie. But yeah, I assume the Lottie is gonna come out here. As we do see the Lottie com comes out on a heat wave. So Tamahom just playing safe. So the Majorna is uh, pretty obvious here. Do we see a trick or like some double? We do see a trick, nice. So the Majorna gets crippled, loses his leftovers, amazing. Ladi gets leftovers now, which helps it switch into um, Zapdos. And he still has left e leftovers, so if he plays it well, he can still potentially cripple the Chansey uh, with a trick later on. He does just go uh, save into his AV Tang. And yeah, he can just now go back into Ladi. Like, he has lefties. The, the only thing that would uh, be annoying for the Ladi is if he gets Discharge Parrot or he wave burned, but other than that, he can always just bring that in. Okay, he stays in to go for what? My computer is lagging a bit because I have recorded a lot of games earlier. So my computer is like, nah, 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 turn it off. He goes, just goes for Hidden Power Eyes. So he, I can see him going for Earthquake here, predicting Roost. So yeah, let me just I close my Discord real quick. Oh, well, I thought he could have gone for Earthquake there. The Roost was quite obvious to me, but he doesn't have to risk it. He goes on the Landro, so maybe this is the Continental Crush if he brings it out like that. Um, it's definitely either the Majorna or the Lando on his T. Uh, it could be Manaphy to be honest. Yeah. Okay. It's not. It's not. It's not decided yet. But he's definitely bluffing that he potentially. He's either Smackdown with Earthquake or he's uh, Continental Crush. That those are the only two reasons why you would bring out the Landris on a Zapdos, or you could be Gravity slash like Gravity slash slash Smackdown basically. Or Continental Crush. Otherwise, why would you ever go into Lando on a Zapdos? And if he just bluffed and went for Rocks, uh, that was a god play. Like he just, if he if he really just bluffed it and do, just to go for Rocks, because now the Zapdos has to take um, 25 the next time it comes in. That's amazing for him. 
Mm, so I assume he's either a uh, Tangrowth slash Ladi come out here, but I think he should just go into Tangrowth. He goes Manaphy. Um, if it's Leftovers and Rain Dance, I understand that play, it is Leftovers. So that, that play makes sense because even if he gets burned, he probably has Rain Dance to um, get rid of a burn or like some sort of status. He does take low up and it's looking kind of bad for Tamahome. He's getting kind of bopped here. Majuna, um looking like bulky as fuck can eat at that plus three serve up. And now Brokemon Duck Trio says hi with Arena Trap, I assume. And he might have to go for Groundium. I don't know if regular Earthquake kills. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I don't think regular Earthquake would have killed, to be honest. And even Groundium doesn't kill. So that's probably HP invested mana fee. That has to be some sort of HP invested mana fee. I cannot imagine that it just lifted like that if it's no HP invested. Like what? That was a snag. Hey, someone, some Velocify is gonna watch this video and be like, Yo, why did Smoke on Bandux Z move can't even kill mana fee from 67? <laughs> But yeah, this is so fire, dude. Like, I know um, a lot of you are probably gonna enjoy this. Are gonna enjoy this because... Um, yeah, if you don't like stall, you obviously love seeing stall lose. And I don't see how Tamahome can come back from this. Uh, he has to go on the chance here and click Seismic Toss. I mean, Quexler can also take a hit, but if Quexler takes the hit, I we don't know if this is Energy Ball yet. And also, he needs the Quexler healthy for the Law Pony. So yeah, I assume he's just gonna go into either Zapdos or Chansey, but Chansey should be the play here and just go for Seismic Toss. And Psychic Mewtwo can just switch out into either the Tangrowth or the Landorus on the Chansey. And I don't think this is losable at this point. It looks to be a, a pretty nice win. Facade, Law Pony, and... HP invested man if he I don't know if he expected him to bring like some Duggy and he had that had those HP EVs on purpose. Um that those HP EVs probably do a lot for man if he like I assume that they maybe avoid like the two two hit KO from like Majuna's T bolt or something like that. That's just me speculating, I'm not hundred percent sure. But there's definitely probably some call that the HP investment helps with, otherwise you wouldn't run it. Like you wouldn't just put it there randomly. And yeah, he's taking his time here, but I think Chansey is his only play, right? Um, if this is his Ice Beam, the Zapdos just dies. Um, I mean, if he, I guess if he's max speed, he can go to Zap. Yeah, if he's max speed, he can go to Zapdos. I didn't think about that. Mm -hmm. Because as Manaphy is most likely um, not max speed. But yeah, time is going down here. Is, uh, I was just checking my phone. My man, my man still let hit me up with a Snapchat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This team was so prepared for stall. And it was so obvious Tama was going to use it. <laughs> I think Tama, um, usually he plays older gens. I think he, I think he plays DPP. So he decided to go chance. He doesn't want to risk um, this man if he... Maybe his Zapdos, either his Zapdos isn't max speed or he doesn't want to risk this man if he... Um, being still max speed and instead of um, speed he took out EVs out of special attack. I'm not sure, but I assume he's just I assume he's just not max speed on Zapdos. So he's gonna go for Seismic Toss here. And Psychic Mewtwo can definitely save this. If it has Energy Ball, uh, it's definitely nice for the Quagsire. And he can also double switch into this later to get more lefties back. I remember Telly versus Cosine, there was the Manaphy on, on Telly's side, it was super low. And he kept doubling into Manaphy and he got leftovers back and got it super healthy. That was, so, that was fire to watch. But yeah, like I said, uh, go Tango or Orlando here, right? I don't, like, it depends on, your, on his coverage, but if he has energy balls, he should definitely save this. So he does just stay in and that did nothing. <laughs> so Chansey says a nice snack. And now we assume the Law Pony comes out and clicks Facade. And I assume... Okay, never mind. So maybe he, he maybe he ran the Kalk and he knows that Law Pony cannot do it. Kill Quack with Facade. So he goes no Landris here and now... If he, if, he, if he has Smackdown, this is the turn to go for it. Um, I assume we're going to see the Quack slash Zapdos coming out here. Um, if if he thinks that um, Psychic Mewtwo bluffed having Smackdown or Gravity 
Oh, Sky, um, not Sky, sorry, Conan and Crush. Then you can definitely go to Zap those, but I assume he's just gonna go Quagsire. Um, I guess he just didn't have Energy Ball. I don't know. I wouldn't have. I probably wouldn't have sacked the Manaphy, but it it might. It will not matter. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I don't know why I can't talk properly. I don't know why ICT is going wild in German. I can understand this, but I'm not gonna translate it for you guys. It's it's pretty nasty. <laughs> so go to Zapdos. Do we see the Smackdown? That will be a fire play. We do, that, we do just see the Earthquake. So I assume Psychic Move you um, just expected him to go Quack. Slash um, stay in. So if you have Smackdown, this is definitely the turn to go for it now. And he has the Z move. Is it the Connor Crush? Ooh, it's lit. Goodbye. Dude, this guy has a stall counter team. Like, holy shit. Good. <laughs> How? I guess he knew that his opponent would bring stall. Like I said, I don't know anything about Tema and what he likes to use in Sun and Moon. I haven't seen him play much. I've only recorded that game versus Kick Ass. Um, yeah, that's all I, yeah, I saw from him. So he sacks the. Um, now he gets knocked off. He sacks the the Majuna, he gets knocked off here, he gets up rocks. Now he's gonna softball it up. But yeah. This game is over. Uh Psychic Mewtwo can go Landers here or Yeah, exactly. I was think thinking Lopani, but Landers is fine. And you can just spam off quick at this point. And if Quagsire comes out, it only has so many recover PP, so like it cannot keep recovering forever. So Earthquake again here seems to be fine. He just gets up rocks. I don't think that was necessary. I think I would just Earthquake again. He does get the burn. Uh, a bit unfortunate there, but I mean the Tangros plus Lottie having leftovers and also being able to potentially trick. Actually, never mind. The chance he's already knocked off. You don't have to trick it. But yeah, this, this is just looking really good. And if he Dragos and he gets to minus two, um, it still does a lot to the Quag. I assume it does like around 70-80%. Like it does a lot to Quack is basically what I'm trying to say. Even at minus 2. So like... I already said this. He only has so many recover PPs. So like Tama only has... Tama has no... I'm just gonna call him Tama because I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce him. He has no way of winning this. <laughs> because the recover is gonna run out and then Lopani just wins. And Landros also just wins. Uh, actually Landros got burned but Lopani wins. And yeah, Lottie and Tangros also is really nice. Like Tangros having regenerated, Lottie having lefties because uh, he got them tricked. Those two things help him a lot. And Jenna might also have lefties. He gets a crit head that doesn't hurt. Helps him a bit to get some more chip. So he's just gonna spam Psyshock. He does not lose anything. This is gonna do like 40% to Chansey because he got knocked off. So Tama knew like a god that he would go for Draco that turn. I think he didn't lose anything from spamming Psyshock. Um, I'm a bit surprised that we didn't see um that Quagsire go for Toxic. Maybe it was a Cursed Quagsire instead? That's what something I've used in Aura is when I will use Stall. Not sure. But, I mean, now ta now he was the Laddie at the moment because it's a minus two. But in the long term, the, he, he cannot win the game. So he can softball here. Uh, so Psychic Mewtwo can just go... Second, he can second Slando, or he can um, go to Tanga Lop. Like the only thing I wouldn't go to is Majorna. Every other three months can kind of kind of work out here. Um, even though Tangros doesn't do too much to Chansey. Now I think we're gonna see a Lopani come out here. To be honest, okay, he just sacks the Lando first. That makes sense as well. Uh, so he's gonna click off quick here. Just gonna do a lot. Even though he's burned because um, Chansey lost the Zivalite. So, like, I consider 29 Earthquake, is, that's a lot in my eyes. So, if I recall correctly, the Quagsire is not at full. So, this might do it KO with rocks. And him not being at full, am amazing. And yeah, he says GG in the game ends. So, this Law Pony was the star of the show, that's the forfeit. And. I don't remember. Yeah, I recorded another game, Psychic Mewtwo versus. If I recall correctly, versus CG Mars. Or maybe I mixed that up. I recorded CG Mars versus someone. I don't know if it was with Psychic Mewtwo. But you guys can expect that game either later or tomorrow as well. And yeah. Uh, it's just amazing to see it put. See this, seeing this Law Pony.
put in the work, the finest of work. But yeah, the Germans in chat are still going wild. Um, yeah, if you're German, you're watching this video, you have some fun. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed and more tour games coming.